Welcome, plungers, and thank you for tapping in. Thank you for pulling up. And as you can see, especially by the lights in the front, that I am driving car right now. I know you've seen a lot of videos of people got kit out here, but I'm a Darth Vader fan, so it's the dark side for me. And this is the stock 495 horsepower engine that it comes with. But I did optimize it. I, I did suspension and tires. And I don't know why it's, anybody else is having this issue that the game changes gears for you. I'm having that issue. I did not change the gear just now. The game changed the gear for me. I have it in manual transmission, but sometimes the game just decides that it feels that I'm not in the right gear. That's like right there. I did not do that. I did that one. But this is about kit right now. Well, car. I didn't downshift there either. And, I mean, this car works great. It's great. Factory, it's great. I built nine different builds for this car. I will include all share codes for all tunes in the description. All nine tunes. Nine different builds. So, okay, I have a... Uh, I have three different builds for the stock, for the stock engine. I have this, I have this with just the supercharger added, adding almost 150 more horsepower. And then I have this engine fully tuned. So upgraded, partially tuned, and fully tuned. So let's go check out the partially tuned, just the supercharger added to it, which is just a different configuration. Um, okay, that's uh, upgraded stock SC supercharger. All right, here we are with just the supercharger added. Oh yeah, in case I didn't show you the inside. It's really a night rider. It's got all the switches and buttons. Turbo boost kit. Nah, he, he's not doing any of that. But yeah, a lot of people started with Back to the Future. Admittedly, I wasn't really a movie guy. I could count on how many, I could count on two hands the amount of times I went to the movies as a kid. And I'd still have maybe three or four fingers left, to be perfectly honest. I know for a fact that I went in and I saw Rocky and E.T. in the movies when I was young. And I and I remember waiting online to see Batman, the first Batman. Uh, and I know I saw um, The Empire Strikes Back. I didn't catch the first Star Wars, but I did catch The Empire Strikes Back. And I can't really remember too many other movies that I went to see as a kid. So for me, it was TV shows. For me, it was Knight Rider. arcade event will begin shortly. Enjoy. Starsky and Hutch, Chips, Airwolf, 
Hunter. I like I like shows with action. I wasn't really into the sitcoms either. So if it wasn't like an action television show, I was watching Newton's Apple or The Joy of Painting with Bob Ross. I was a real nerd growing up. But this car is great. With just the supercharger, we're getting 215 miles an hour on it. And I'll let you know if the engine configuration that I have is, is optimized. This one isn't optimized. This one could stand a little tweaking. Maybe some differential work. I built a drift one. Let's, should I do the, I'll do, all right, I'll do the fully modified version of this one first. Which brings it, where was it? Yeah, fully tuned stock. I have a fully tuned version of the other two engines, the 7.7 .7 liter and the 8.4 liter. I won't get into either of those because they're all comparable to this fully tuned stock version right here. It's just, the difference is just the speed, the top speed which this doesn't quite have over the others. But we're gonna get into top speed when we get into my full beans bill. Every version is driftable. But I did build a dedicated drift version. I was just wondering why my, my car wasn't going and, I, and me myself wasn't hitting the gas. So these are rear wheel drive, so they're they're expert expert skill required for the rear wheel drive configurations. Maybe medium for the upgraded stock. I know I could squeeze more top speed out of this. And you could hear it. If it's banging off the limiter like that in its highest gear, it's got some more top end. So I could probably get this. To the 160, 170 range that the other cars are breaking through. But yeah, this is the fully tuned stock version with over a thousand horsepower in itself. So if Michael Knight had the technology and he had the manpower, because I think it was just him, Devin, and the girl, I forgot her name, Danielle Didi. But yeah, this is, I mean, it's a very good car. The pack is $9. And if you were asking me, the old head, the one who's, who literally spent hours watching Knight Rider and pretending to be Michael Knight, like in real life, And, and pretending to be Starsky and Hutch with my, with my cousin. Yeah, he would never let me be Hutch. I always had to be Starsky. Because Hutch drove. So you could see. And by the way, they need to put an El Torino in this game. A 1967 El Torino. I don't know if Universal Studios owns the rights to that one, but that would be great to have Starsky and Hutch car in here. The red one with the white stripe on the top. They, they, they did re make a remake of the movie with Ben Stiller, and to me, I think they made a joke out of it. Same thing they did with Chips. They made a joke out of it. So let's go full beans, because I don't need to show you the drift or... I don't need to show you the drift build. I don't need to show you. Let's just go full. Beat. I don't need to show you the other builds because this one does it. Uh, let's get this full beans. I got one full beans here, and then I got another full beans here. Oh, this one has the pursuit mode not activated. 
no pursuit mode, and this one has the pursuit mode activated. Both of them have an equal top, I mean, equal performance, but this is full beans. This is the try hardiest, try hard version of the car you can get. And let's check it out. Try hardiest, try hard. Like a bat out of hell, and it's hitting the 80 I need for this corner. It's got a, a bit of understeer. So you might find you have to slow down a bit more for turns than you would you would want to. That's the only flaw I could say this car really has. The only flaw. As far as top speed goes, it's up there with the best of them, 180 plus. So yeah, full beans version. Almost missed my turn. Well, I did kind of miss my turn. Let's head back the other way. Let's see how this thing takes some turns. It's a bad turn. Oh yeah. And it can get drifty. But yeah, this car is great, man. I say it's probably worth the money this car alone. Again, it's got some understeer that you could definitely correct with aero and But everybody wants the optimized version, right? You want the fastest hot, top speed, and you want the uh, highest. You want the highest top speed and the quickest zero to sixty and one hundred you can get out of your cars. At the end of the day, it does drift very nicely. But at the end of the day, it's very nice. And probably worth the money, so I would go for it. But that's all I got for you guys for this one. Thank you again for tapping in. Maybe I will tap back in myself later uh, with, the, with the DeLoreans. I'm still interested to see what the DeLoreans could do. All right, let's get a good drift in before we go. Oh. I caught that nicely earlier. Just skidded right into a parking spot over here. But yeah, anyway, guys. Thanks for tapping in. Later.